<sighs> All right, what up, guys? My name is Joy, and today we're gonna be talking about "They Shall Not Pass" and my thoughts on it. So I have "They Shall Not Pass" for BF1. I played like three games of it, just not the DLC so much as just the base game. Uh, my, in my opinion, I don't like any of the maps in the DLC so far that I've played. And the new Frontline mode, I played that too. It just, it's awful. It's completely all awful and just not fun for me at all. Uh, so what I did was I uninstalled it. I took it off my console and uh, deleted it off the console. And that's pretty much it. Dice, you are not getting my business anymore. I am boycotting every DICE title, at least with the name Battlefield on it from now on. Battlefield used to be a great game. Uh, Bad Company 2 was a great game. Battlefield 3 was okay. It had its, you know, issues. Battlefield 4 at launch was crap. It got better over time. Battlefield 1, nah. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with DICE games. DICE is just milking the franchise now. And, and unless they go back to the roots of the series, I'm not even going to touch the fucking franchise anymore. It's done. Is done for me, anyways. Um, so, as you can see in the background, let's move on from They Shall Not Pass. I'm not going to really go into it. I don't like the weapons, because, again, what's the point of working for new weapons when they'll be nerfed in a month? Uh, what's the point of getting new vehicles? They'll be nerfed in a month. The tank or whatever will be nerfed in a month. Everything's going to get nerfed in a month. So, there's no point in playing it. Now, moving forward. As you can see in the background, this is the only game I'm really excited for this year. Everything else can fuck off. This game right here, I'm really excited for. And yes, today is the 14th. You can start preloading it. You cannot download your Deluxe Edition DLC yet, so but you can start preloading Andromeda on the 4 today. I think Xbox already has it, but on the 14th, you know, you're able to preload Andromeda. So mine's already done, completely downloaded. I'm just waiting for launch now. Thank God. Uh, I'm a little concerned by that 12 gigs, though. That seems fairly small for a Mass Effect game. Hopefully I'm wrong, but... We'll see. Um, anyways, Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm excited, guys. I really am. Really am excited. I hope it's really good. I really do. Uh, but at the same time, I'm pretty much, again, on the fence after three. I will be doing a full playthrough of Andromeda on the hardest difficulty, which will be, I think, Insanity again. Maybe. I'm not sure. But I will be doing it on Insanity. Let me know if you guys are excited for Andromeda in the comments below. If you'd like to see the playthrough of it on Insanity, I will also link my Twitch below. As well as um, the launch trailer for the game so you can get some hype on it if you want to. Or if you're just excited for it and you want to see what's going on. Uh, but this is the only game. This game right here is really the only game I actually give a shit about this year. Ghost Recon Wildlands, I bought it because the drug cartel sounds cool, but again, not much from beta switched. You know, I did play the closed beta. I didn't need to play the open beta, I played the closed beta. I got invited personally from freaking Ubisoft to play the closed beta. Why the fuck do I need to play the open one? General public only plays the open one. I got a special treatment, motherfuckers. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but... Basically, played the closed beta. Not much had changed from the closed beta. The side quests were all the same in all the zones, which, you know, I feared because they did lock off all the other zones, like the Division. Same same thing they did with the Division. They pulled the same thing. It's not new. So, but I still actually do enjoy Ghost Recon to an extent. The side missions in Ghost Recon do need a bit of a revamp. Ubisoft, if you're watching this, please fix the side quest missions for the love of God. Add some flavor in there, man. Mix it up or add something useful that makes me want to do them because right now they're just resource gathering missions and they're boring as all hell now the story for the game isn't great either but i actually kind of liked it a little bit i felt like that lord of war you know nicholas cage movie type feel when i was playing ghost recon so that's really cool um more weapons customization options please i'd love more of that that's great uh and like i said more more activities to do in the game for sure, to keep people playing. Because I, I still want to play Ghost Recon while I play Mass Effect. I do, Ghost Recon is like a game I can just chill with and have a good time and do what I want to do. Shoot some bad guys for an hour or two, log off, and, and whatever. But, um, yeah, as you can see down here, that's the sniper kill we uploaded that video yesterday for you guys, a 400-meter sniper shot. 
Anyways, though, let me know in the comments. Are you excited for Andromeda? If you want to watch the gameplay, unless you're picking it up yourself. I mean, if you're picking it up for yourself, no need to watch my stream. But if, if you aren't picking it up, if you're on the fence and you want to watch me play it on the hardest difficulty to see if it's worth your money and your time, check out my stream below. That'll be up. That game or that playthrough will start on the 21st. No spoilers. I mean, no spoilers for me while I'm playing. Please, guys, if you can. But I will be streaming it. Uh, and I have also read some trophies on it. So, I mean, I'm not spoiled. I haven't had any spoilers myself. I kind of know some of the trophies, though. Uh, but I'm excited to play it on Insanity and see what Andromeda holds for me in terms of a challenge. Because I guarantee you, if I beat this game in a day on Insanity, I'm going to cry. So... And on top of that, give us some a reason to keep playing the RPG element in single player, not just multiplayer. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, multiplayer is great for those who like the multiplayer aspect of Mass Effect, which is like survival mode and board mode and stuff. But I want something to do in the single player after I beat the story, after I get the best gear. Give me something to keep me playing, you know, activities, something. I don't care if it's repetitive as all hell, just give me a reason to keep playing, to go out and shoot some bad guys, to go explore your world. Something that's interesting. Not resource gathering missions or, you know, ugh. Please no resource gathering. I mean, I understand resources play a part in Andromeda, but if I can get all the upgrades before the end, something's severely wrong. Uh, with that said, though, guys, I'm excited for Andromeda. Let me know in the comments if you are. Again, I will link my Twitch account down below. You can watch the full playthrough if you are on the fence at my Twitch on the 21st. So, in about a week. Yep, yeah, week. Um, you're also able to play early early access on Xbox and PC through Origin uh, for the first 10 hours. I think single player is limited due to spoilers and stuff, but you can play it early on the 16th for like the first 10 hours. In my opinion, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to support Xbox, and I don't have a PC that can run it, so I'm just not going to waste my time with that. I will be probably MIA on the 16th so on the 16th i'm not going to be online any websites i'm probably actually going to be off my computer uh unless it's on like facebook or something but i'm not going to be on it for spoilers uh so that way i can go in with very little hype you know i don't i'm not trying to hype the game up i'm excited for the game but at the same time i'm not super you know, ecstatic. I'm not like, oh my god, this is going to be the best game ever. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm not like that. <clears throat> and the reason I think is because I don't want to be let down. A lot of games these last couple of years have just been trash. Let's, let's just get it out of the way. They've been trash. So, I'm really hoping Bioware, the Bioware team, can uh, pull one out their ass and make this a great game. Because I really want it to be. Please. If this game fails, I'm going back to Need for Speed Underground, Battlefront 2, and Tony Hawk Underground 2. Because honestly, I can't take these new games. These new games fucking suck now. All of them. They're all just money-making machines. That's all they care about. Give me something to do in, the, in your game. Be passionate about it. Make it great. Make gaming great again. Thank you, Donald Trump. Uh... No, but in all seriousness, games do need to be great again. They have lost their magic quite a bit. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see the playthrough, check it out on the 21st. Much appreciated. Uh, and let me know if you're excited for Andromeda. If you're not, tell me why. Uh, as well as, uh, I will link the launch trailer down below. So if you guys are still on the fence and you want to see the launch trailer, see what it looks like, you know can check that out uh but yeah that's my thoughts on they shall not pass trash game now can't believe what they've done what they've done to it some thoughts on ghost recon and some thoughts on andromeda and my excitement for it if you do have it pre-ordered go preload it now and have a great week everybody my name is Benjoy. have a good one